Welcome to Africa at the United Nations. Mr. President, as we would say in Ghana, our world is currently not in a good place. Mr. President, I'm contributing to this debate on a date that has special significance for us in Ghana. 21st September is the date we mark the birth of our first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. He would have been 130 years old today. And it is worth recalling on this day the driving force of his political career, which was to contribute to the birth of a united Africa, that is, the United States of Africa. We recognize today more than ever before the importance of the strength and unity of Africa, and we are working to shed that image of a helpless, hapless continent. There is a renewed commitment towards an inclusive and sustainable industrialization and economic integration and the intensity of the challenges we face today is only matched like never before by the immensity of the opportunity before us. We, the current leaders of Africa, should be determined not to waste the crisis that confronts us. Incidentally, 2022 is billed as Africa's year to take action on food and nutrition development goals. We see the current geopolitical crisis as an opportunity to rely less on food imports from outside the continent and use better our 60% share of global, of global share of arable lands to increase food production. We have seen the devastating impact of relying on Russia and Ukraine for 70% of our wheat consumption. We have enough land, enough water, enough gas, and enough manpower to produce enough fertilizer, food, and energy for ourselves and for others. But we also recognize that we cannot do it all by ourselves. Our message to the global investor community is therefore this. Africa is ready for business. Africa needs you, and you need Africa. You need Africa because Africa is busily building the world's largest single market of 1.3 billion people. Soon we will have a customs union, and soon we will have a continental payment system that will accelerate and facilitate trade amongst ourselves. Already, goods and services are flowing more freely across our artificial borders. See Africa for what it is, the new frontier for manufacturing, for technology, for food production. Indeed, we're recognizing that many of the things we import can be found or produced in Ghana or in other African countries. The African Continental Free Trade Area, whose secretariat is located in Accra, Ghana's capital, is driving intra-African trade and creating an unparalleled momentum for our continent's economic diversity and transformation. We know that industrialization is the way to go, and with the single market as the added incentive, we've taken policy measures in Ghana to add value to our natural resources. For example, we're processing more of our cocoa, refining more of our gold, and we're determined to exploit the entire value chain of our huge lithium deposits. We're busily building an integrated bauxite and aluminum industry and an integrated iron and steel industry, building new oil refineries and have so far attracted six of the world's biggest automobile manufacturers to have set up assembling plants in Ghana prior to producing them in the country. In line with the African Union's Agenda 2063 and the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, Africa's ambition is to transfer transform our food systems over the next decade, anchored in the Comprehensive Africa Agricultural Development Program and the Malibu Declaration on Accelerated Agricultural Growth. What we require now is support from the investor community 
for the rolling out of Africa's lucrative agro-industry and for the community to see agribusiness in Africa as much more an opportunity than the perceived exaggerated risk, which has been the false but dominant narrative. In conclusion, Mr. President, on 25th July 2016, this assembly adopted Resolution A stroke RES stroke 70 stroke 293, proclaiming 2016 2025 as the third industrial development decade for Africa, with UNIDO tasked to lead it in collaboration with a range of partners. I believe it is time for the United Nations to take proper stock of this initiative and ask a few searching questions, recognizing what could have been achieved with greater commitment and focus. Working together, we can get our world back into a better and happier place. I thank you for your attention. Did you like or hate what you heard? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want more candid speeches like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to catch all our latest videos. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips, or topics about Africa you'd like us to cover 